Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing today? We're doing great here at Circle R Ranch. Welcome back to uh, our last session of this series. I'm Spindle. This is Sherlock. And we've got some other guest appearances that are going to be joining us today as well. So today we get to go for a trail ride. We're going to do our trail ride uh, out, on our, out on our horses here. And it's a beautiful day. And Sherlock is groomed. He's saddled, bridled, and ready to go. So I'm going to be giving you a little bit of information about the signals and the communication that we use with the horses when we are out on the trail. Uh, but we really want to get out there and have a, a great ride today. So when we are getting on the horses, it's actually called mounting your horse. Uh, I've checked my saddle, everything's tight. I'm getting on on the left-hand side, regularity, consistency. They like get us getting on on the left-hand side. And I'm going to ask him to stand. So it's a whoa, using those words of whoa. And to get on, <laughs> I'm going to put my left foot into the stirrup, take a couple bounces off of my other leg, and then swing it around and gently sit down onto his back. So here we go, left foot into the stirrup. I'm going to even can hold the horn or the back of the saddle and I'm up nice smooth rhythm around and truly really gently down onto his back don't want to punch yourself down there and then I'm going to find my stirrups for my feet here just your toes you want in your stirrup you don't want to push your whole foot through because when I'm riding I am thinking about having my heels down to the ground and my toes up in that manner it's going to help to keep me nice and balanced and in the right position so that i'm balanced on the horse my body position i'm thinking about sitting up nice and straight and tall ideally my ear my shoulder my hip and my heel is in a straight line and and that's comfortable for me as well it is it's comfortable for the horse as well I am sitting on the horse's center of gravity, center of balance, which will make it easier for the horse to uh, do the things that I'm going to ask him to do. And again, it's comfort. It's comfort for the horse. I'm not leaning way forward or leaning way back. I am just sitting up nice and tall here. Really, the weight of my body is right down on my seat bones. And I'm, I'm really very comfortable in this position. For steering, we have the reins talked about the reins last week that uh, come from the bit in their mouth to my hands. There's a couple different ways that we do steer our horses here. I'm going to show you the Western Pleasure trail riding way that we actually are going to hold both the reins in one hand. And so you have a free hand there to wave to all your buddies when you're on the trail. When you're learning. It's nice to have that free hand if you're feeling better to have a, just a very light hold onto your saddle horn. Or then ideally when you're cruising along, it's just to your side uh, so that you're nice and comfortable. So the rein length from my hand up to the bit is important. And uh, you just want it nice and loose. As you see it there, I like to say the reins are just smiling. They're not too tight or way too loose. So I'm gonna lean over, take a look there. So just nice smiling reins. The extra reins can go down onto the side here. And the signals to ask the horse to go forward, they will listen to their ears to a clicking sound or a kissing sound. So I'll be demonstrating that in a couple minutes and uh, then Sherlock will start. And then when I want to stop them, I can reinforce it with my voice saying the word whoa. They're trained for that. And it's also slowly pulling back once the horse responds, does what I want him to do, then I release my hand as well. So there's a real quick meaning one there for you folks. Uh, often we can really go into lots of detail on position and the horses and the how to, but again, we want to get out on the trail here. So I'm going to ask him, oh, that was uh, forward and stop for turning. <laughs> when I want him to go left, I actually take my hand across to the left. And it's pretty neat because what they feel is the rein on their neck. So if they feel the pressure of the rein, asking them to go left, that like that, or to the right, it's crossed the other way as well. Um, so, shall we start here, Sherlock? Here we go, we're gonna just start 
Do a little turn here for you. There we go. Now helping us out on the trail today, I have another uh, awesome Circle R staff member, and that is Tsunami. So we're all going to say hello to Tsunami. And who are you on there today, Tsunami? Jerry. Jerry. Tsunami's on Jerry. And I'm so pleased to say that you folks uh, will be hopefully seeing throughout the ride is Soleil. And she's going to be riding Tom. And Soleil, everybody, she has been the wonderful recorder of all of these sessions, the producer, the uh, technology behind all of this. So I truly am very grateful to Soleil to truly help out uh, with all this information. And it's cool to have Tsunami with us too on the trail. So she, Tsunami will lead and I'll be in the middle and Soleil will be on the end. So here we go team. Okay, so Tsunami's getting in place here. Oh, maybe getting a drink there, but they've got a drink. And here we go. Okay. It's kind of exciting because um, this is kind of a never never. We've done it and have not done a recording while riding. I mean, we've practiced a lot, but um, you know, it's uh, keeping it smooth what Soleil is trying there. And here we go. So, when we're heading out, we're heading out of the corral. Again, you're just sort of adjusting yourself. Um, again, our stirrups are the correct length, not too long and not too short and adjust your reins, you look at your reins. There we go, out of the corral gate. Now, a couple things that we do on the trail is um, ideally, we try to prevent them from eating the grass. Um, in general, they're just taught that they uh, don't eat the grass when somebody is riding them um, so that you can have your good communication and connection to them and giving them the information that they need. And, um, I mean, they're not, they're, they're well fed. So they don't need the grass, but they love the grass. It's kind of like candy to them. They like to get little nibbles here and there, but again, we keep their heads up from eating the grass. When we do go up hills, we like to help them uh, because of our weight on their back. What we'll eventually do is I will demonstrate we actually stand up, still with our heels down. Now, you certainly can hang onto the saddle to help to balance yourself here. And I'm getting my weight off of the horse's back. I'm leaning forward slightly, putting my weight over their front leg, and just really letting them mosey their way up the hill. And then once we do get to the top, I'm just looking and aware, and then I can just gently set myself back down uh, onto the back here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to sit back down here. doing everybody <laughs> so lady's still smiling everybody so we're all good <laughs> well this is great doesn't it it really feels awesome to be out and riding and when you are I'll just say we are trying to even to hold our position kind of firm but not too stiff but not too uh, sloppy as well so you're just going with the motion of the horse and being aware of the surrounding, you know, somewhat keeping an eye on their ears. Are they noticing something that can then relate that information to me? And really, anytime cruising along, I'm going to take that free hand of mine and lean forward and give them a pat on the neck. That's telling them good job. We're all doing great.
awesome pond, everybody, where we do our canoeing, kayaking, swimming. Uh, it's not really, it is not open, so the boy lines aren't in or anything like that, but I know you folks of the campers that are watching who have spent many, many hours in the pond cooling off, enjoying the time on the beach, and the awesome swimming area. So like I said, Circle R, you know, we have names for all our fields, all our areas, all our pathways to, you know, just think about if we say, hey, let's, let's go this way or that way. And this area that we're coming up to, up from the hill here, this is what we call is Junior Hill. So we're going to be riding over top of Junior Hill. I will pop in here and just say, I mean, it's, it, it's awesome to be with your horse and share this time with them. And, and it's truly looking at nature too, enjoying nature for us. Got some lovely sumac here that's coming out in red. And it's a lovely combination, we feel, to enjoy the horse, enjoy the trail riding, enjoy nature. And we might see some deer out here, folks. I think we have we have wild deer that live here on Circle R Ranch. Um, wild turkeys. See some rabbits. Now going down a hill, we actually are going down a, a small hill here, but going down a hill, when you're riding, you just hold that lovely position of being up nice and straight. My heels are, are down the whole time. I might push down a bit more on my heels just to help to balance me. Because going down a hill, it is a little bit rocky. And that's just what it feels like for a horse to manage himself, to balance and go down the hill. And you don't need to lean forward and you don't need to lean back. You can staying in the middle. And we always do actually walk going down hills and walk going up hills. And uh, all safety as much as being in control. Kinda neat. You might even be able to hear the squeaking of the saddle of the leather on the saddle. It's a really lovely sound when you're out riding. All right, so uh, we've come through the gate into another area here. This gate has its name of Metal Gate, for you people that know the gate. And uh, we've opened and closed it, and we're going to continue on the trail here now. And this area here that we're coming to is actually what we call is Bubba's of an area. And we're going to continue along and go up to a field that we call is Barrel Field, and then down and around Spirit Valley and into Green Acres. And I, I think we're just going to be filming. Uh, I won't be chatting. So really, you can enjoy nature, enjoy the time, and everybody can uh, pretend they're riding their own horse here. Okay.
field here, what we call Green Acres. Uh, hope you've enjoyed that last little kind of silent ride there with your horse. And it's been an awesome series, everybody. It really has been. Thank you so much for joining in. I know many of you have been with us to let all of the series along. It's been a real pleasure to share this horse information and knowledge with you and a whole new experience for us uh, at Circle R, myself, Spindle, and for Soleil. And truly, really, thank you so much for joining us. And at Circle R, we only say see you later. So we will hopefully see you soon and all the best to everybody. Thanks a lot. Take care.